Hi, I'm Chelsea from Chelsea Stratton Designs, and today I'm here in my mom's sewing studio to share a new strawberry lemonade quilt with you all, Miss Magnolia. And this one was inspired by my original Magnolia quilt that I designed with Seashore Drive. And I love that this is a bigger block quilt of that. So I'm excited to share a few things with you and let's take a closer look. Okay, so I'm excited to take a closer look at the Miss Magnolia quilt. And I designed my Magnolia quilt with Seashore Drive. So you will recognize this block. And that was a 16 block quilt. And I wanted to make the block bigger. I like making bigger block quilts. And so I thought, let's do nine blocks and make the quilt block bigger and make a new quilt pattern out of it. And I thought that it was great to show off two prints within each block colorway as well. So I was able to actually show off a lot of the prints within the collection because you use two different prints of like colors in each block. And I love that. So it gets to show off a little bit more. So it's a bigger block quilt. It measures 81 and a half inches by 81 and a half inches. So it is sizable and it's easy piecing techniques. You guys, seriously, I tend to stick with the same, just easy piecing that makes me happy. And I love how it turned out. This is fat quarter friendly. So if you got a fat quarter bundle, that would be kind of perfect for this. And then Marion Bott did this really, really cool, it's almost like swirly flowers for the quilting. And this one adds a ton of texture, as you can see. The background color, well, I used our tone on tone print, but it is Bella 200. So the Bella 200 matches perfectly with our tone on tones. And then some cute sashing posts for it. I am going to show you the back of the quilt. Now, this is our circle dot print. I don't know if you can see that. And it's the multi-colored for the low volume. We have had this in a couple different collections and thought it would be fun to bring it back for the strawberry, the strawberry lemonade collection. So we did this in a multi. I love it for a backing and honestly I love it for a background in a quilt. So like I probably could have done this as the background on the top on the quilt top. It just adds a lot of different texture but it's still subtle enough because the print is tiny enough that it's not taking away from the blocks in a quilt. I love this print. I think it's so cute. And then I decided to go for our citrine pinwheel for the binding. I love how everyone knows I love how bright this color is. And we had this in Seashore Drive and we really, really wanted to bring it back for strawberry lemonade fabrics. We just love the color. We love how bright it is and how it pops. And you will notice there, I didn't do a print border. I just kept it the same background color it is a smaller inner it's a smaller border but I like that it gave the quilt a little bit of space overall so I'm glad that we could go over some of the fun things about that this quilt top I love it I think it goes together really easily and I love that it's a sister quilt to my original magnolia quilt pattern Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed taking a closer look at the Miss Magnolia quilt pattern. The pattern is available now in paper and PDF, and we will have that linked in the description of this video. So if you liked this video, hit the like button, 
And if you're new here, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. And thanks so much for stopping by.